Thankfully, I was one of the lucky people that got to play the GTA trilogy early, thanks to an oversight from Sony. And I'd like to share my experiences with you in case you are thinking of purchasing it. I'm going to try to be as objective as possible, but I have to say that I am a fan of the older games and I haven't played them in so long that there was a lot of nostalgia that I got, so I will have a little bias like that. There are a few things I like, but there's definitely some issues I feel that I have to point out about these games. And if you're thinking of purchasing it, I think you should know what you are purchasing. The first thing most people see when they see the game is that it looks a lot better and this is true I was driving around a lot and I was just happy to be driving around like again the nostalgia was kicking in I got to see a lot of the the old things the way I remember seeing them but of course they didn't look as good when I was playing. When I say this though I'm really meaning the environment so like the houses the buildings the roads the streets it just all to me looks really good and the lighting coming down really does just it does the game i think looks well from that perspective and you can really tell like a lot of work went into the interiors and i often found myself just walking around just looking at like shop windows to see like the level of detail that they actually put in to what was there and it all fits the theme and the style of the game it really did honor how the game looks that said this kind of ends when it comes to the characters sometimes it's easy kind of ignore it and it's like ah, oh, look it's not too bad but other times it's just jarring and the the npcs are kind of just misfigured and sometimes i genuinely think they look better in older versions of the game so it's kind of hard to say that they're an upgrade sometimes they just kind of seem kind of deformed like they got a really small head they got really long arms and a weird body they just look strange like i also heard like this is rebuilt in the unreal engine which is cool but it does feel like almost like a port of the playstation 2 version there's other things like the draw distance is really good and that is actually one of the reasons i really like this it's kind of cool driving around grove street in san andreas and you're able to see the full skyline fully rendered or you're driving around vice city and you can see right off this juicy beach it is really cool or the surrounding mountains around like gta tree but that draw distance is a double-edged sword because when you're in, like, I, the biggest example is when you're in San Andreas, you can see the entire map. Now, it's not something that bothers me that much, but there used to be, like, a fog around. And I know a lot of people, that annoyed a lot of people because it really does make the map look really small. And when they did add that fog, like, I know it was a limitation of the time. But they used that fog in a very artistic way and made the game look a lot bigger. Just a little thing. It's not something that annoyed me a huge amount, but... A little thing. The thing that I was really looking forward to this game was the updated controls and this annoyed the absolute life of me. It does kind of feel like they just mapped the button presses from GTA 5 over to the game and it does feel like better driving. I don't know if you played GTA 5 for a long time like it does feel a lot more natural going back and it's good and you can now change your weapons with a weapon wheel. But one of the biggest things for me is I was kind of I don't know why I was under the impression but I was under the impression we were going to have like GTA 5 style shooting mechanics because like the shooting was atrociously clunky back in those games so I was like yes I would love to play this with a better kind of shooting mechanic and that is not here the standard mode is kind of like you lock on and then you can kind of free aim a little bit but if you're going to use this you definitely have to dial in the, sens the sensitivity settings i genuinely almost just gave up playing because i was getting so frustrated with it thankfully though if you don't want to do all that you can go back to the classic mode but that's it you're going back to the original playstation 2 kind of lock on system like so the shooting controls are definitely not improved i don't think in my opinion well, like all of the tracks from GTA's original music is still in the game, over 40 songs from the original version of Vice City and San Andreas are missing. Some of the notable ones missing are Killing the Name Of by Rage Against Machine, as well as Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Of course, it would have been nice if all the original music was intact, but I'm sure all these licenses get way more expensive if they want them again. While I was live streaming, a lot of people kept asking me one question over and over again, and that was, do the same cheats work that worked in the original? And yeah, they seem all the same cheats seem to work. So if you like to use those cheats, have at it. The main reason I'm making this video is because I know a lot of people are waiting to get reviews, and that is very wise, is to wait, get reviews, look at footage before you make this purchase, because I'm not, I don't think this game is going to be for everyone, to be quite frank. I am a fan of the older games, I haven't played them in a long time. It is nice to step back and go in and play them with like improved lighting and graphics. It, uh, it like it's like playing them the way I remember the way they look, but 
you know, that's not how they looked. And I am willing to forgive a lot of the faults that a lot of people have clearly laid out online. But not everyone will, and I think it's important that people buy this knowing what they're going to get. But if you've been playing these maybe recently enough, and maybe even added mods to them, I don't know if this is going to be justifying your money, to be quite honest. But if you're just a casual player who hasn't played it ever on PC with mods, and you just go, oh, it looks a lot better now, do you know what, I wouldn't like replaying this again, well, maybe it is worth a look. It is pretty expensive for three what are essentially really good looking PS2 games. So if you're not in any rush, it might genuinely be worth waiting till they're on sale or something like this. Another thing I think we have to talk about when we're talking about the GTA trilogy is kind of a how Rockstar handled the whole thing. Like I feel like there was a lot of shadiness around this game. Like there was like very little information given about it. They actively shut down the mods that were people were making in the community for ages and then took those games off the market so they could bring out these ones. They started comparing this with GTA 5, obviously to kind of bring people in that might have only played GTA 5. It's like, oh, this is just like GTA 5 in a way. And they're also trying to grab the nostalgia market, which I am the nostalgia market. They also didn't give out any review copies and no one knew until the day they bought them. And the the biggest thing that kind of the biggest red flag to me was there was no hard copy sales. I mean, a cynical person would suspect the reason they might have done that was they wanted to make all their money on pre sales so you buy the digital copy so they can get rid of the second hand market, which is shady. But another way of thinking is I wonder are they doing that so that they can just say you don't like the game, sure you can't return a digital copy, really. You also won't be able to flog it on and make some of your money back and that's one less secondhand copy on the market it's hard not to have a bad taste in your mouth with all of this taken into account so like when people ask me do you, know, do you think it's worth a buy honestly I, I think that depends if you haven't played gta in so long and you're really excited to play it and you just want to play with better graphics maybe but if you're not going to play this instantly as soon as you buy it wait a while get it on sale and then maybe it'll be worth a trip down memory lane some night now i say all that and like i have to admit i am enjoying playing the game as i said i haven't played it in so long there is some things that are jarring like the npcs and you can just like go anywhere on the internet and you'll find a lot of examples how bad the npcs look at places to a lot of people that is just going to be enough for them not to want it so my advice to you is if you are thinking of purchasing it is to really, really get a good few, get a lot of different reviews and just make an informed purchase if you're going to purchase it. I don't feel Rockstar was very straight up with what this game was exactly. So I think it's important that people are talking a lot about what the game actually is for better and for worse. And look, these are just my opinions. Definitely please go out, find some other opinions that you think might be close to your own and again, make an informed opinion. These are just my thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you bought the game? Um, what do you think of it if you did? Are you thinking about buying the game? And what are your thoughts around that? And also, are you not buying the game? And if so, what don't you like? Look forward to reading your comments, and I'll catch you all in the next video.